Poland herself who must decide. Britain stands behind her ally when the need to resist aggression arises, but it's on her own forces, on land and in the air, that Poland must at first rely in deciding when the time should come to fight for her liberty. And these pictures which Pathé Gazette presents of this year's army manoeuvres show what a mighty force the Polish Republic has created in the 20 years of her modern history. At present, Poland has nearly a million men under arms, but within a few hours of war mobilization, that number would be increased to over four million. For 20 years, Poland has spent half her budget and vast loans from abroad on this army. Today, she has built a mighty war machine and is even catching up on modern mechanization. But above all, Poland relies still on the centuries-old fighting tradition of her men. For through the Middle Ages, the Poles outlasted the Moravians, the Bohemians, the Hungarians, the Lithuanians, the Tatars and the Turks. They destroyed the Teutonic Knights. They crushed Ivan the Terrible. And today, just 20 years after the German army was disarmed on Polish soil, just 20 years after they defeated the Bolshevik invasion, the Poles are ready again to defend the frontiers of their country, the independence of the Republic that was created after the World War. This is only a sham war, but it expresses the determination to resist of a nation of 35 million people. repetition of recent events in Europe. No repetition of a nation unprepared and unwilling to fight. No repetition of the chance to use a threat of force as a potent argument. Here is a nation that will rise up united and will stand firm to the last drop of its blood.